On March 12, 1804, US District Court Judge John Pickering of New Hampshire became the first federal judge to be impeached by the House of Representatives, is tried by the Senate, and removed from office. Once one of his state's leading citizens, Pickering was charged with loose morals and intemperate habits, and conduct disgraceful to disgraceful to his own character as a judge and degrading to the honor and dignity of the United States. His crime, appearing drunk on the bench. Pickering's early career had been exemplary, according to most of his contemporaries. As a graduate of Harvard College in 1761, he studied law and was admitted to the bar, Dartmouth College awarded him an honorary LLD in 1792. After holding sundry civil posts during the revolutionary period, he served in a convention that drafted the New Hampshire Constitution of 1779. He was a member of a second constitutional convention in 1781, and a decade later helped to revise the second constitution. Although he represented Portsmouth Portsmouth in the state legislature legislature for several terms, he was elected but refused to serve a national post, including the Continental Congress and the Philadelphia Convention of 1787 that framed the federal constitution. His refusals may have been connected with his dread of crossing water which often compelled him to travel miles out of his way to avoid ferries rather than any lack of interest in national affairs, because he was an influential member of the New Hampshire Convention that ratified the United States Constitution. He was a presidential elector in 1788 and again in 1792, and served in the New Hampshire State Senate. In 1790 Pickering became Chief Justice of the Superior Court of New Hampshire, is a position he held until 1795, when he was appointed a lifetime judge of the United States District Court. Although he appeared relatively competent for several years, by the turn of the 19th century his eccentricities the eccentricities had deteriorated into insanity and alcoholism. In 1801 a judge of the circuit court was assigned to take over Pickering's duties, but when the circuit courts were abolished thereafter, Pickering, refusing to resign, is resumed his position. Pickering's career reached its nadir in 1802, when he presided over a trial concerning the seizure by United States custom officials of the ship Eliza on smuggling charges. The trial was a farce. On the opening day Pickering staggered into the courtroom, intoxicated. After exhibiting some bizarre behavior, Pickering ordered the trial postponed until the next day, remarking that he would then be sober. Is the following day, however, the judge was even more inebriated. After hearing the ship owner's case and a few minutes of argument between the attorneys, Pickering ordered the ship returned to its owner. The district attorney was allowed only a few minutes to present his witnesses. We will not sit here to eternity to decide on such paltry matters, Pickering declared. Federal officials then decided to act. Though Pickering was clearly incompetent to continue serving on the bench, the Constitution offered no way to remove him short of impeachment, the grounds for which were restricted to treason, bribery, is or other high crimes and misdemeanors. Pickering's offenses fit comfortably into none of these categories. But the House of Representatives nonetheless voted article of impeachment against him. His removal from office was complicated when it became a battle between opposing political parties. Republicans versus Federalist over control of the judiciary. The impeachment itself became another scandal. Described by historian Henry Adams as confused, contradictory, and irregular. Is a perversion of justice. The articles of impeachment charged the judge with violating procedural rules, its improperly enforcing the law, drunkenness, and profanity on the bench. Pickering filed no answer, he never appeared before the Senate and no attorney represented him. Republican senators aided the prosecution, while Federalist senators conducted the defense. His Pickering son Jacob, presented a petition at the opening of the trial claiming that his father though previously above reproach in his morals, had been for several years insane his mind wholly deranged, a disorder that had baffled all medical aid. As a result, the defense maintained, Pickering was not subject to impeachment, for he was incapable of rational judgment. After heated debate along party lines, Pickering was found guilty of all four articles of impeachment. The Senate voted his removal from office on March 12, 1804. Pickering died on April 11, 1805.